Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to discuss acute and chronic inflammatory dermatosis. These are the references for this video. So the learning objectives for this video are at the end of this lecture, the fourth year MBBS student should be able to enlist different types of acute and chronic dermatosis, explain different type of these lesions and discuss morphology and pathogenesis of various types of acute and chronic dermatosis. There are many ways to classify the lesions of the skin. Uh, we will discuss uh, two of these. Uh, these can be classified into the diseases of, a, of the epidermis and the lesions include ichthyosis, diarrhea disease, psoriasis and pemphigus vulgaris. Then there are diseases that are limited to the basement membrane zone and these include epidermolysis bullosa, uh, bullous pemphigoid, dermatitis herpetiformis, erythema multiformis, systemic lupus erythematosus and lichas planus. Uh, this classification is on the basis of the site uh, uh, of the skin that is involved. Then there is a uh, Inflammatory diseases of the superficial and deep vascular bed and among these are tricharia and angioedema, cutaneous necrotizing vasculitis, allergic contact dermatitis, granulomatous dermatitis, sarcoidosis and granuloma annulare. Then another head is scleroderma that is the disorder of the dermal connective tissue. The inflammatory disorders of the paniculus are erythema nodosum and erythema induritum while the acne vulgaris is the inflammatory lesion of the uh, appendages of the skin. The infection and infestations that are peculiar to this area are impetigo, superficial and deep fungal infections, viral infections and arthropod infestations. While the nucleasm of the skin, the primary nucleasm of the skin are common acquired melanocytic nevus, dysplastic nevus, melanocytic dysplasia, malignant melanoma, benign tumor of the melanocytes, uh, verruchi, keratosis, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, micro cell carcinoma. There are varieties of cell tumor that occur uh, in the skin. Fibrohistocytic tumor, mycosis fungoids and HIV infection. Then there are some uh, paraneoplastic syndromes that involve the skin. Another way to classify the lesions of the skin is uh, uh, the disorder of epidermal maturation that is ichthyosis. Acute inflammatory dermatosis include a tricharia, acute eczematous dermatitis and erythema multiforme. While the chronic inflammatory dermatosis includes psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis and lichen planus. The blistering disorders or bullous diseases can be divided into inflammatory and non-inflammatory lesions and uh, the inflammatory one are pemphigus, bullous pemphigoid and dermatitis herpetiformis while the epidermolysis and epidermolysis bullosa and porphyria are non-inflammatory blistering disorders. The disorders of epidermal appendages are acne vulgaris and rosacea while the paniculitis uh, uh, includes erythema nodosum and enduratum and other types of the paniculitis. The disorder of the pigmentation and melanocytes are freckles, ephilis, lentigo, melanocytic nevus, dysplastic nevus and melanoma. Benign epithelial tumor are seborrheic keratosis, acanthosis, nigricans, fibroepithelial polyp, epithelial or follicular inclusion cyst, adnexal or appendages tumor, pre-malignant and malignant epidermal tumors include actinic keratosis, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma or rodent ulcer. Uh, tumor of the dermis include fib benign fibrous histiocytoma that are also named as dermatofibroma or dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. The tumors of the cellular migraine to the skin are mycosis fungoids that is cutaneous T cell lymphoma and mastocytosis.
So we are going to study in this video the acute inflammatory dermatosis such as urticaria, acute eczematous dermatitis and erythema multiforme and chronic inflammatory dermatosis that are psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis and lichen planus. Uh, the urticaria is an inflammatory disorder of the vascular bed. Acute ex eczematous dermatitis is also included in the same pathogenetic mechanism while the erythema multiforme is the disease of basement membrane zone. The psoriasis is a chronic disease of epidermis. Seborrheic dermatitis is disorder of epidermal appendage, chronic inflammatory disorder of epidermal appendage and lichen planus is also a chronic inflammatory dermatosis and this occur at the basement membrane zone. Now before starting the pathogenetic mechanisms of this lesion, first we will look into two clinical scenarios. First is a 10 year old boy who presented to your office with a pruritic vesicular rash and mother tell you that uh, he spent the previous day playing in the woods during a supervised summer camp outing and after ruling out any sort of infectious process you prescribe topical corticosteroid cream and suggest that the boy avoid contact with certain plants to avoid a recurrence then there is another case in this case a 34 year old woman present to your office complaining of a chronic skin rash. The rash is well demarcated, coral colored plaque with silvery scale over the scalp, elbow and knee. You discover that uh, removing the scale results in pinpoint area of bleeding. Now, the patient also tell you that he has, she has got uh, some arthritic problems. So we are going to uh, probe into the pathogenetic mechanism and the various events during the pathogenesis of uh, these two and other entities. There are many inflammatory dermatoses and these are divided into acute and chronic one. The acute lesions, they last from days to weeks and uh, they are characterized by presence of inflammatory infiltrate, edema and injury. The inflammatory infiltrate in these acute inflammatory dermatoses is lymphocyte and macrophages as compared to the other acute inflammations where we usually get neutrophil but here in uh, as these acute uh, lesions are uh, they span from days to weeks the inflammatory infiltrate is of lymphocyte and macrophages the injury to epidermis vas vascular tissue or subcutaneous tissue is also seen in acute lesions while the chronic spans from months to years and they are characterized by epidermal changes that are atrophy or hyperplasia and dermal fibrosis. So the first entity in acute inflammatory dermatosis is atricaria that is also termed as hives. It is a common disorder of the skin and it is caused by localized mast cell degranulation and uniformly associated with dermal microvascular hyperpermeability. So two characteristics are mast cell degranulation and localized micro, uh, dermal microvascular hyperpermeability. It is a hypersensitivity reaction. Morphologically, there is a raised pale, well demarcated pruritic edematous papule and plaque that is termed as veal and uh, there may be development of uh, egg-like swelling due to edema of the deeper dermis and the subcutaneous fat and it is termed as angioedema. The commonly 
affected age group is 20 to 40 years, but it can affect any age. In acute episodes, the lesion develop and fade within hours and uh, it comprises of less than 24 hours and uh, in some cases, the episode may last for days or persist for months. The common site, any area that is exposed to the pressure such as trunk, distal extremities and air is uh, predisposed to this arteric area. The, some of the diseases are associated with persistence, uh, persistence of this, uh, these lesion and persistent episodes of arteric area occur in collagen vascular disorder and Hodgkin lymphoma. But uh, in most of the cases, the uh, causative, mechanic, causative uh, agent is unknown. So the cell that is involved in this pathogenetic mechanism is mast cell. The mast cell has got some characteristics and function. It binds with IgE molecule. It contains electron dense granules and mast cell is present in connective tissue, lung, GIT mucosal surface, in the dermis and in microvasculature. And it is important in regulating vascular permeability and bronchial smooth muscle tone. The primary inflammatory mediators that are present in these mast cells are histamine, leukotriene C, D, E, and E, platelet activating factor, eosinophil and neutrophil chemotactic factors, serine proteases, and cytokines such as TNF alpha and interleukin 4. Now, the pathogenetic mechanisms that are involved in this arteric area development, there is uh, there is plenty of uh, antigen that are present in the atmosphere and uh, when they bind with the mast cell, they are responsible for the degranulation of these cells and release of vasoactive mediator. And as a release of these vasoactive mediator, there is vascular permeability, that is venular permeability is increased. One mechanism of this uh, arteric area is mast cell dependent and IgE dependent. In this mechanism, both are required and uh, the pollen, food, drug, insect, venom, they act as antigen and they attack the IgE coated mast cell and result in degranulation of the mast cell. The another mechanism is mast cell dependent, but here IgE is not required. And the examples are opiate, certain antibiotics, and radiographic contrast media. Here, these uh, agents are responsible for direct activation and degranulation of the mast cell. The third mechanism is uh, both the mast cell and IgE independent. And here, due to exposure to some chemicals or drugs such as aspirin, due to some local factors, there is increased vascular permeability and it occurs by unknown mechanism. Another mechanism that involves these uh, mast cell independent IgE independent uh, category is deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor. In the deficiency of this uh, esterase inhibitor, there is increased complement activation that results in uh, production of the vasoactive mediators. Now the morphology of this lesion, the arteric area, uh, the morphology is uh, variable and uh, it usually has a small porotic papule to large edematous uh, plaque and uh, these papule or plaque may uh, coalesce to form annular, linear or acriform configuration. Here in this picture, there are uh, numerous erythematous and edematous and uh, circular plaques that are present in this picture. And uh, there is another term that is dermatographism. Dermatographism is a linear hive and uh, it in this uh, rich pink flare produced by brisky stroking 
briskly stroking the skin and uh, it is actually an exaggerated IgE dependent response. One may actually write on the skin of the such individual and uh, create uh, a hive in the form of the word, such as uh, shown in this picture, which is which is uh, which has marked dermatographism. In this picture, uh, you can see that uh, in the right arm there is redney, and there is this right arm is also edematous. The two are the uh, redness and swelling are features of inflammation that are present in this picture and this is marked by this arrow. The histological features of atricaria are subtle. The epidermis uh, remains unchanged while there is a presence of a sparse superficial perivenular infiltrate and uh, it consists of mononuclear cells rather than neutrophil. Uh, eosinophil may also be present and uh, collagen bundle are widely spaced due to edema within the dermis. The dermal lymphatic channels are also dilated and this is due to increased absorption of the dermal uh, edematous fluid 